Hey guys, welcome to Coach Me Now. This is our channel where we discuss business ideas, uh, how to invest your money, how to make money, how to save money, how to get rich, okay? So we have free trainings and free videos and we have paid trainings. If you are interested in learning more about Coach Me Now, make sure you subscribe, okay? We have a new video every day and today we are discussing 10 business ideas that can outlast the recession. All right, here we go. You know we are in recession, okay? Nobody, no matter what they tell you, you know we are in the recession. Just look at your bank account, that's depleting every day. Look at the price of gas. See, there's no opportunities. We're still dealing with COVID-19, so you know we are in the recession. That's why it's a good idea to know what you can invest in, where you can put your money. And these are the good ideas that we're gonna discuss right here, right now. Here we go. Number one, car repairs. We saw during COVID-19 how much we missed going out and commuting and seeing our families and friends and just going out to eat and to shop and to work. So people discovered after COVID, well COVID is still going on, but we discovered that we need to commute. Maybe not with taxis and trains and com you know common vehicles. We discovered that we need to use our own vehicles. And instead of buying new vehicles because of the conditions that we, the recession, you tend to want to fix your old car. And that's why you come in if you can invest into a car repair company, okay? You're gonna be the one fixing because there's always a line of vehicles that need to be repaired because the people are not getting into buying new vehicles. They are extremely expensive. They don't have the parts coming from China and people tend to either buy old vehicles or maintain old vehicles. So if you can get yourself into a car repair business right now during a recession, you're gonna be in good shape. Number two, selling and reselling online. Yes, selling and reselling online. So what are you selling? We saw since COVID-19, we discovered that anyone can sell anything from anyone. Sometimes you don't even have to own the inventory that you're selling. You can own, you can open a store in your bedroom or at your office at home on your cell phone and start selling products that belong to somebody else you don't even have to carry the product. So let's say the products that belong to Amazon or Walmart, or you want to bring them to from China, from Alibaba or AliExpress, you can start selling them today. You can open a business right now on your laptop, on your iPad, on your phone, and start selling them today. You can either go to the store, buy the product, and we sell them if you can find good deals or you can get them at the auction or from the marketplace or from eBay, come and we sell them. Or you wait when there are deals in the stores, go buy them and sell them. Or simply manufacture from China because it's cheap. Find out from Alibaba, and that's another class that we have. Um, find out from Alibaba how much it is to produce this product. Sometimes you can even slap your own brand on it, put your name on it, bring it to the US and sell it to the people and make your extra money. Simple, okay? So make sure you open a store. That's a good idea that will outlast the uh, recession. Number three, freelancing. You've heard about freelancing. You don't have to know stuff, but you can sell that stuff to people. There are ideas, there are skills that you can sell. You can make it a business and make money, even if you don't know the skill. But now let's say you know you have a skill and you know you have experience doing something. You can, instead of going to look for a job like we used to do before, you can sit at home, go on a website like Fiverr or Upwork or freelancers.com or some other websites where you can uh, freelance. You can display what you can do and show pictures of what you can do. You can draw, you can build websites, you can cook, you can, whatever you can do, there is somebody somewhere on those websites online, on some marketplace, who's looking for the skill that you have. You know how to build websites, you're gonna find somebody who's looking for a website. You charge them, you make the website, you deliver, you make money. Sometimes you can be building five, 
at the same time, okay? So freelancing is a good business that everybody is getting into during a recession and they're making crazy money. Number four is gonna be home repairs. Now, since COVID, we're staying at home. A lot of people don't commute to work. We learned that you can work from home. So people are staying home. And because you're staying home, homes need to be repaired and maintained. You're talking HVAC, you're talking about plumbing, electricity, you need to maintain your house. And that's why if you will be the one who will open a business and hire other people, whether you have the skill or not, whether you know how to do construction, you, you handy, you can, you know, the handiwork, whether you know it or not, you can open a business and hire the people who know how to do that stuff, okay? You hire them, get contracts, and then go from home to home. You can have 10 guys working at the same time uh, with uh, multiple contracts, and then you make your money. And so, recession or not, if you open your home repair business, you will outlast the, um, the recession, okay? So, number five, we are going to talk about financial planning and bookkeeping and accounting. We, since COVID, we've been getting a lot of help from banks, from the government, but also the government is after you because you have got to pay tax and you got to go through a lot of numbers that sometimes we don't know uh, how to deal with. So we have to run to our bookkeeper, the accountant, our financial advisor, the people who know about numbers. We also go to them to ask them advice if you have a little bit of money, whether you, it's money that you saved or that you're ready to invest or some money that you receive from the government or from a loan from a bank, you want to know how to invest that money. Where can you place your money? So we always go to the bookkeeper and the accountant and the CPAs because they know that stuff. They know the numbers. If you're in trouble with tax, you can always go to them if the government is after you the IRS is after you always go to these guys they have the solution because they know how to play with the numbers okay so if you are one that can learn and create that business during a recession you're in good shape because everybody has been running towards the accountants and the CPA to get help with a government loan or a grant or just you want to file your taxes, you want to know the numbers because tax become very complicated when the government has been giving you money that we never had before. So we need somebody who's going to help with that. So if you are the one who's going to open that tax business, you're in good shape because everybody's rushing to, to your office to, look, to pay you and look for your help, okay? Now number six, temporary work of any kind handiwork okay now since COVID kind of relaxed and COVID is still here but since it relaxed a little bit a lot of people didn't go back to work a lot of people discovered that there is demand and that they can get better pay if they do not return to the, the previous job so they stay available and in demand so employers who are looking for workers they tend to pay more so they don't want to lock themselves, the, the, the workers, they don't want to lock themselves into a long contract. What they want to do is keep that door open, but they can take uh, shorter jobs or on a, sh a short basis instead of signing a, a contract, okay? So a lot of people have started doing just that. Instead of going to sign for a nine to five at five days a week and 40 hours a week, you want to take small jobs because you want to keep that door open and see if there's going to be an employer somewhere who's going to offer more to pay you, okay? So shorter job and handiwork and temporary work is what's becoming very, very popular these days during a recession, okay? Now, number seven is going to be uh, online beauty products. Before COVID, beauty uh, salons and spas, they were very popular. But we discovered during COVID-19 that you can cut your own hair at home, that you can do your own nails, and you can do your, uh, your toes and your fingers and your face and body work. So what has been happening is people are buying products a lot online. Buying from Amazon, buying from Walmart, buying from Target, buying from everywhere, CVS. But a lot of people also are bringing these products from overseas, from Alibaba, from China. So if you can be the one that has access to those products 
or even you buy them locally from those stores that I just mentioned and you don't want to buy them and selling them online so people can receive them at home instead of going to the store they will receive them at home at a very good price and they can do their own makeup and their own nails and their own toes at home if you are the one providing that service you will be like the middleman like we said earlier with the online shop where you can either buy the product and distribute to people or you simply be the middleman who's going to do drop shipping so when somebody pays you on your website that you build then you order the product from a big supplier who does drop shipping or you simply know what's what's selling and then you buy it from uh, the suppliers and distribute to the people your, your own clients and make some money in between so that's going to be you don't keep going uh, during recession and if you can build your own website right now and start that business it will be a very good idea okay so number eight we're going to talk about coaching and teaching online okay now everybody has become a teacher okay teaching is no longer just for the teachers in the classroom everyone now can teach just use your cell phone or your laptop or your computer if you have a skill if you have experience doing something press the button on your on your phone or on your laptop and teach and just uh, open a profile on one of those websites and uh, organize your course and record it and host it on the website and people around the world who are looking for that training or that uh, the, the, the skills they will pay you for it okay so now is a very good time because people are home and people are learning we are learning we learn all day we are on our phones all day learning so if you have a special skill or if you have experience something that you know you can do you might not know it but there are thousands or hundreds of thousands of people online uh, around the world who are looking for uh, what you have to teach so please it's a very good time to open that uh, business right now that will outlast the recession okay number nine is going to be the cleaning of offices so before COVID, people used to help out cleaning the office at the end of the shift. But since you don't know, everybody's still wearing a mask at the office because you don't know if the next person is sick or not. So at the end of the shift, I only clean off my own stuff, throw in the garbage and go home. Nobody wants to take care of the office. So if you are the one that's going to provide that service, if you know how to clean, or you can hire people who know how to clean, hire a crew, hire people they will do the job and you get paid you can sign all those contracts with headquarters and corporate offices all you do is sign the contract assign to the workers they go to these offices they clean you get paid and you pay your people and that would be a very good idea during recession where people are still kind of scared of COVID-19 open that cleaning business and you'll be okay now number 10 is going to be food and restoration now this is not the list or the last what is the last but not the least but food and restoration we need to eat we need to eat whether we're making money or not whether it's recession whether it's COVID-19 people need to eat and we discovered when we were locked down that um, you can order food from a supermarket or from a grocery store the same way you can order food from a restaurant so if you can be the one who either delivers the food or you can open one of those stores you can open a restaurant you can open a little grocery store or supermarket if you have the funds or you can simply be the one that delivered do you know how much money uber has made just delivering uber has never made a, a, a meal but uber is making more money than all the restaurants combined because all they do is deliver so you can either have a service like that delivery where you have drivers around deliver food or you can be a grocery store just create your own corner store and sell uh, food or you can open a restaurant we need food to eat whether we're saving our money whether it's a recession whether it's COVID-19 another outbreak we need food to eat and we need you to open that store and it's going to outlast any kind of recession okay 
Now, we have shown you 10 business ideas that will outlast the recession. And uh, I wanted to say thank you for watching. And if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel because we are discussing, we have business ideas, we're discussing investment, we're discussing how to build wealth, how to handle your money. And we have free training and paid training. So please make sure you subscribe. And don't forget to click on the notification bell so you can be aware whenever we we discuss uh, these uh, nice ideas you know, every time when we post a new video. So make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell. Thank you and bye-bye.